Hey, what's up guys? I'm back because I finally have a phone again, which I've been using to record my videos. So I'm going to come at you guys with basically a review of One Punch Man episode 11, which is a spectacular anime that I started watching. And the latest episode just came back and I was like, might as well make this review. So this episode basically was kind of bittersweet because of the fact that this is the second last episode of the One Punch Man series. I hope this is a season one, but I mean, we probably wouldn't get another season for a while. But the main thing was that Boros versus Saitama is basically kicking off, which Lord Boros has so much hype behind him. Like, he is looking to be a pretty good enemy because... Of the fact that Saitama just couldn't one punch him, which nobody else has been able to do that so far. So, right out the gate, it's just like this is new level, you know, for the sh uh, for the series uh, for Saitama because Lord Boros pretty much just got one punched, but he got one punched into the wall, which just took off his armor, which basically just made him go get like release basically all of his power because the armor that he had on was just restraining it and honestly like his power up form was pretty it was pretty nasty i'm not gonna lie and he's just looking like he's gonna go try to kill saitama but i mean uh, i mean like the thing about this series is that the you just know that saitama won't die but i mean then again he just did the like the one punch man, but or, I mean the one punch, but you know that Saitama's not gonna die, so it's like the stakes aren't that high. And also on the ground battle with uh, Atomic Samurai, you know, with um, uh, Silver Fang, that's his name, and the other guy with with the alien that is you know friends with Boros. I forgot what his name is. I apologize, but either way, that was hype as fuck when to when tatsumaki came in and just started doing her telekinesis powers which were far superior to the tentacle guy that was like oh i'm the most powerful you know te telekinesis guy in the universe and he just gets literally obliterated by satama just throwing something at him so it's like wow okay yeah big shit talking guy but you know didn't really back it up much but tatsumaki she ship talks and she backs it up by fucking up the ship with their trump card to defeat atomic samurai and silver fang uh, because they were like oh it doesn't matter if we lose on the ground you know we have this these missiles but you know they got just tatsumaki whoop, just like right back up to the ship and they're done so that was pretty incredible and again the fight with saitama and boros it didn't really like there's not much to it yet it's mainly for the next episode which i expect the next episode to be some of the best anime ever like i'm expecting like quality of the first couple episodes of the series you know plus 10 with this fight this is just going to be i want to see back and forth between saitama and lord boros i would love to see that you know because we saw like when saitama actually had a challenge in the beginning of the series where he just went apeshit against all those like uh, ground burrowing enemies and like i want to see that level of animation against lord boros going punch for punch i just want to see a good conclusion and i mean again i'm really sad this anime is ending because like i feel like there's 80 chapters to the actual manga you know i feel like we could at least squeeze another 10 episodes but I mean, I guess better to end the series while it's, you know, near perfect and before it just kind of starts declining, I guess, because honestly, this anime is 10 out of 10, like, this is some of the best shit that we've gotten in years when it comes to anime, like, it completely just puts in the shadow, like, other, uh, other things, just like One Piece, like, One Piece and Dragon Ball Super in particular, like, I look at the animation of this, I look at the animation of Dragon Ball Super. Yes, I mean, I know that Dragon Ball Super, they fixed some of their animation with the DVD releases. But either way, like, some of the shit that they were doing was, I feel like it's inexcusable. I feel like for a well-known series like Dragon Ball Z, you should spend the money to make it, like, you know, the best-looking anime in the world. Like, even the original anime, it was decent for its time, you know, like, 
we don't have the dynamic 3D effects that, you know, One Punch Man, you know, uses, but, like, god damn, like, Dragon Ball Super. But I don't know, like, that was a whole entire different tangent. Either way, with One Punch Man, I can't wait for the next episode. You know, uh, animation was always, was just on point for sure. Um, I mean, first half of the episode was kind of subpar when it comes to the animation. It was a lot of cut scene, or, you know, cutting for the action. But the second half was definitely a lot of dynamic shit. So, I mean, I'm going to probably go review some Bleach now and then go get some sleep. It's like 4 a.m. Just worked like a nine-hour shift. But I really wanted to do this video because I'm inspired to do some videos, you know, like, I really like doing these things, you know, manga is just a cool thing to discuss, make videos on, and review, because not a lot of people I know really like manga, you know, so, I guess, you know, having a little community here would be something to be cool, so, either way, you guys have a good one, thank you for watching, and see you guys later.